What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another one of my helmet reviews and today I will be presenting to you the Shark Vancore. Now the Shark Vancore has been around for quite a bit of time by now. It debuted about 2014 and this particular helmet that I have is been with me for about two years. So let's take a look at some of its features and what I think about this helmet in general. Alright, let's start with some of the features. At the top over here, you have its one and only single air vent. Now, the air vent has a slider, but to be honest, this does not open or close the vent per se. In fact, it's pretty much just for show. Now, turning around the helmet, you see that there is practically no other ports or vents for air except for the one at the top but do keep in mind that you know this is a jet helmet not a full face helmet and it does not come with an integrated uh, visor that closes down so the area around the face port while it does have a pretty good seal isn't airtight and airflow does come in quite easily on this helmet now moving on the goggles will only use uh, the stock shark goggles that comes with the helmet so if you buy probably another helmet from Scott for example they will not create this tight seal over here that you can see so do keep in mind that if you buy this helmet, the only goggles that you are going to be able to use is this shark helmet this goggles. Now the reason I stopped using uh, this helmet was also because of the goggles. Now if you wear glasses that are like these, these are pretty thin glasses. Of course, if you are not wearing glasses, you are able to fit uh, your face into these goggles but if you are like me and you decided to change for something more hip like my thick glasses over here then well obviously the goggles aren't gonna fit that's why I couldn't fit in this helmet anymore while wearing that glasses so I stopped but from time to time when I'm using my old glasses of course I will do come back to this helmet but it's not uh, that great anymore for the kind of fashion that I'm into. Now, if you take note of this chin bar and this shell shape, you'll notice that the shell is pretty much taken from the shark raw, which is actually just a health helmet and not a full face helmet. The reason why I call this a jet helmet is because of that. The actual shell itself isn't considered full face. This chin bar over here, while it does give you protection, isn't going to be very strong. Any impact to the front of your face here, while it will stop a slow speed impact or abrasion, if it's going to go hard like maybe 80 kilometers in the wall, no. This is going to smash into your face, it's going to break off at the hinges over here and in general it's not going to be a good day for you. So do keep in mind that if you buy this helmet, it is not gonna be useful in say a racetrack do remember to buy a proper full face helmet for a racetrack but on the streets of singapore or you know in general around town this is a perfect helmet for anybody that wants to look cool and you know have a light helmet it's also very light as i've just said it's a light helmet it weighs in close to less than half no, probably about uh, 1.5 kilos probably even less than that it's very light and the reason why i bought this was initially as a light uh, you know go-to helmet when i'm going to let's say the grocery store and i don't want to carry my heavier dual sport hammer helmet now looking inside we have here the standard European micrometric buckle strap system that uh, I actually love a lot 
that's why I bought this helmet. It's one of the few helmets that has a micrometer buckle strap that I insist on every single helmet that I own, if possible at all. The inside of the liner is very high quality, very good quality. I've owned this for two years and as you have seen, none of the fabric and none of the, you know, the faux leather, the plastics have degraded at all over the two years that I've owned this helmet. The liner, while technically you can remove it, it is not recommended. It was not meant to be removed in its entirety. It's very hard to, to remove and it's very hard to fit it back on as well. So do keep in mind, this helmet, try not to get into any heavy activity because once you sweat in it, well, you're gonna have dunk the entire helmet into a pot of soap and water and wash it that way. Now, at the top of the helmet over here, you have your air vents. Now, these air vents are gonna circulate past your head, over your skull and the back of your helmet and keep your head cool and, you know, wipe away the moisture that builds up inside the helmet. And it's a very good feature to have considering that the airflow that comes from the front is already quite substantial by itself. Now back to the to the goggles. Well, the goggles that are supplied with the Shark Raw, the Shark Van Core helmet. Okay, it is held together by two little pins over at the side of the helmet over here. So while you can obviously choose to use a proper pair of goggles uh, well they were meant to be designed to be used with this pair instead so but one thing I do not really like about the way the goggles are mounted in this fashion is that you know instead of a full elastic band that goes around the helmet and keeps you know the the goggles held securely instead it's held by these two pins and these two pins aren't exactly a very good um, mounting option in my opinion the fact is that you know there isn't enough elasticity between the front of the goggles and here and you know this part of fabric to keep this section taut so after maybe six months or so you realize that you know the goggles the elasticity isn't there anymore and this can easily come off especially if you are lifting up your goggles and to put on the forehead uh, at a stoplight and you realize that somehow this pops off from the back and then you have to start fiddling with this trying to hook it back on but on the bright side of things this hook system is actually pretty easy assuming that you can manage to feel where the pin is and you know fumble the clip back on into the pin now looking at the graphics that we have here this is the green real graphic it is basically a very very beautiful graphic you know showcasing some uh, stylistic elements of uh, a Japanese motif over here or you could say Chinese but it's more Japanese uh, in my opinion because of you see this would be iconic of you know the, the Empire of the Rising Sun with the central uh, dragon over here but the design of the dragon itself on the right side of the helmet is actually more representative of what it looks like in you know Chinese mythology with the long serpentine snake-like and wispy uh, aura trails around the dragon all in all a very nice pair of graphics that I would recommend anybody if you could find one of these I believe uh, the green view graphic might not be in sale anymore but the shark van core helmet itself is still on sale uh, in quite a lot of places so if you do like this helmet do take a look I'll leave a link in the description below and uh, it's gonna set you back probably about 200 250 euros probably less by now which is about 300 Singapore dollars so take that in mind it is not an expensive helmet but it's not exactly cheap either it's sort of in the low mid tier range of helmet prices 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more information about the helmet that I talked about, links are in the description below. And of course, do remember to like and give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to watch more videos from me in the future, do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Peace out.